Hey everybody, so I thought I would show what I think is a uh, Pemphobedius macala. It was shipped to me as a platyama and then told that it was a macala later, so I'm, I'm hoping that's what it is, but um, I just had to show the markings because he's so beautiful. I just fed her him, it, I'm not sure yet. Oh well, that's actually better. Whoop! <laughs> Hello! Look at the markings on this tarantula. This, she's about, um, I'm gonna call her she, I don't know. Uh, she's about two and a half inches, I'd say. Um, and she eats real well. And, uh, those markings on her carapace really just showed up this last molt. She molted um, on the 14th of this month, July. And those markings turned out really beautiful. And the abdomen, look at the abdomen pattern. Looks like a Christmas tree. Anyway, so here's Platy. She's what we think, what I think is a Macala. And then... I have my Platyama that molted last month on the 23rd, June 23rd, and she does look different. She doesn't have that pattern on her abdomen. She did, and then she molted out of it. So, my guess is that that one is a Macala and this one's a Platyama. The pattern's there, but very... Um, looks a lot less distinct than on the other one. This is Yoma. And uh, might as well show me feeding her. Let's see if I can arrange this. See what I can do. I need a little light, so... Let's see if she'll eat. There you go. No oh, good. She's hungry. That's pretty obvious. All right. Well, that's the uh, that's my two uh, Pemphobedius genus and they're beautiful. All right, take care. Let's see if she'll get that third one. Yep. She got it. All right, take care.